Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, Old Faithful is really steaming. Look at the heat coming up from there. There's been a few earthquakes today and yesterday. Looks like it's snowing there. USGS is reporting five earthquakes today. A 0 0.7. Um, that's, you can, yeah, up there in the Madison River area. A 0 0.6, same location. Um, a 1.8, same location. Um, I have to zoom it back out. A 0 0.2, kind of west of Heben Lake. A 0 0.3, same location. Another 0 0.3, same location. A 2.6, same location. Here is the earthquake signature of that 2.6. And we'll look at the spectrogram. Now this is from Borehole 944, which is from Grant Village, which is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. They have a lot of them marked in red. The most recent earthquake at 1627, a 0 0.7, doesn't really show up here. But if you notice at the bottom, we have two lines of melt and see how it increased at about 1628, the heat. The earthquake before that at 622 um, doesn't really show up here on the monitor. But we do have this little one here at 621. There's its signature, and there's another one at 614. A lot of little ones. See, that's um, 814. There's like three of them, it looks like. One, two, three. Yeah, a whole bunch of small microquakes, 945. Um, none of these have been reported. Um, there's a lot of them. And I've been, I've been covering... All these earthquakes, 945, that one's in red, um, 1014, how USGS really doesn't report all the earthquakes. Again, this is um, from Grant Village. And we'll go up and look at some of the other activity that's been going on. There was some larger ones. We got this one at 1136. Now that was on the 24th. They reported a 0 0.9, and that's right there at Little West Thumb of the Lake, right there. Um, a depth of 7.9 kilometers. It was probably larger, and we'll look at its signature, and then there's another one at 343. Let me pull this up for you. That one, they said, was a 0 0.9, and its location, same thing right there along Little West Thumb. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. There's the 0 0.9 and the other 0 0.9. Remember, they got this crack, the widening. It stretches right through there. If you follow the dots and go up towards Elephant Back Mountain. Yeah, and, and see that small island? Let me make that larger. Yeah, it goes right up through there. Just like in the ocean where they have a fault line with spreading where magma comes up they have the same thing that's occurring there at Yellowstone Lake so let's look and see what else we got here yeah on uh, the 23rd see all the activity we got another one in red at 1415 they say that one too was a 0 0.9 where is it let's look oh right there um, that would be Heart Lake and then kind of uh, southwest of Heart Lake there was nine earthquakes reported on the 24th, the largest being a 1.7, and that's up there by Heben Lake. That's probably that small one right there. Yeah, I got some rambunctious grandkids. Let's look at the signature here. Yeah. But looking at what I pulled from the 24th at 12.05 uh, Universal Time, yeah, there was a lot more earthquakes on that date. This here on the side is universal time. Right now, it's currently 18 degrees there at Yellowstone National Park. Looks like uh, Friday we might have a high of 32. You notice on the ground how the melt 
the melted snow has increased dramatically. Let me pull this over for you. Yeah, we got a lot of hot steam coming up. So here we have the Norris Junction area. I had to take a break from what I was doing with um, this report. I watched uh, Trump on television try to ease the uh, panic that's going on. And I see the Sacramento area now has a confirmed case of coronavirus. Where they caught it, they don't know. So anyways, here we have Norris Junction. And you can see the different earthquakes. And the signature. This almost looks like two. These are in red. This is at uh, 141. So that would have been the 2.6. Um, all the way up here, west of Heben Lake. It could have been as high as a magnitude 3.1, a 3.2, a 3.18. Yeah, we know the government tells us the truth, right? A 3.2, another 3.2, um, a 3.8, a 3.31. Typical, downplaying what's going on, downplaying the threat. Yeah, Yellowstone is recharging. Now this one's supposed to be, what, a 0 0.6 or the 1.8. We got 1720, two of them, um, two different depths. At Mary Lake, it came in as a magnitude 2.1 and Purple Mountain 2.1, uh, 1.56. Um, they got two different readings, 1.32, 1.78. They decided on a 1.8. There we go. Maybe they should make Mike Pence in charge of USGS, right? He can be the scapegoat. So these were definitely larger, and they only reported two. Um, but there's three. And then we got this other one up here. Let me pull this up for you. Uh, 553. You can see the hot gases and a uh, more likely fluid that came up with this. Let's see, that was on the 24th. I don't see them being reported. We got 444, 1.7. Um, that would have been the Madison River area, Norris Junction area. Was that completely missed or am I completely missing it? Then we got 2109, we'll look at its signature. And then we got another one on the 24th, 1848. There is its signature. Yeah, we got a little hot spot there, right there. I wish I could make this bigger. And we'll come up and look at the other stuff that was going on. This morning, this here is the Norris Junction area. Borehole, it's a very deep well, 950. Here we got Grant. And then up here, let me pull this up. That would be Little West Thumb there at the lake. All right, here we have Little West Thumb there at Yellowstone Lake. The first one marked in red is at 815. Not being reported. There is actually two of them there. You can see it there and there. And then we got another one, a little small one there, not being reported. And we'll go up to these other ones. You can see the heat coming up. Now remember, Yellowstone Lake, we got that uh, fault line down at the bottom, um, widening, spreading, and we'll come up. We got another one in red at 1136. That's probably the 0 0.9, and again, I showed you how it, they're probably larger, and we'll come up. Yeah, we got the thickening of the lines here, um, harmonic tremors. Or volcanic tremors. There's another small one there. We'll come up. And uh, sorry about that. And then that one at 1415, marked in red. Not being reported. There is so many. Yeah, see the red? Oh, kind of an orangish red. Yeah, not being reported. Let's come down to what it was showing when I pulled the files and we'll look at the signature. Yeah, harmonic tremors. Not surprising, Yellowstone Lake, you know, that is 
one area near one area of the two resurgent domes most volcanoes only have one resurgent dome where Yellowstone Lake's got two we got the Sour Creek resurgent dome and the Mallard Lake resurgent dome yeah they are reporting two earthquakes for today a 0 0.5 again in that same area west of Heapen Lake and a 1.6 same location um, both about 11 kilometers in depth that 6.84 miles about so there's the one signature at Norris Junction that would be the 1.6 and then the other earthquake doesn't really show up here I see Washington State had an earthquake I'll do a report on that one next that's all I have for you right now uh, the park still closed to automobiles the only way to get in there is with uh, snowmobiles so if you have any thoughts or comments or questions please put it down below thank you for subscribing please stay safe always be prepared for a disaster and I will talk to you later God bless you. Bye.